They told me to never go into the woods after dark. I heard the warnings growing up. They said the woods were haunted, cursed by spirits of those who had vanished. But as a teenager, I never believed any of it. Ghost stories were for kids, right? One night, my friends dared me to go in. It was the usual dare. Run into the woods, take a sapling from the old oak tree, and come back. Simple enough. I didn't believe in the superstitions, so I took the challenge. The moment I stepped in, the air felt different, colder, heavy. The chirping of the crickets and rustling leaves faded into silence. I tried to shake off the feeling of unease, telling myself that it was just nerves. I pressed on. I was afraid my friends would make fun of me. The deeper I went, the darker it became. The moonlight barely had any effect on the thick canopy. And soon, I was swallowed by shadows. I couldn't see the oak tree, but I knew it had to be close. That's when I heard it. A voice. A faint whisper. Just behind me. I spun around, heart racing, but saw nothing. The trees were unmoving in the windless night. I laughed trying to convince myself that it was just my imagination. I kept walking, faster now, eager to finish the dare and leave the woods behind. But the whispering, it followed me. Soft at first, like a breeze, slipping through the branches, but growing louder, clearer with every step. Words I couldn't understand, but somehow I knew they were meant for me. I started to run, forgot all about the oak tree. All I wanted was to get out. The whispering became a chorus, echoing from every direction. I could feel something watching me, just out of sight, hidden in the darkness between the trees. The path back to the edge of the woods felt longer than I remembered. My feet pounded against the forest floor, breath coming in ragged gasps. But no matter how far I ran, the trees stretched endlessly before me, and the whispers grew louder. Then suddenly, they stopped. I stumbled to a halt, panting, and looked around. The silence was suffocating, but the whispering was gone. I took a deep breath, trying to calm myself, telling myself that it was all in my head. That's when I noticed them. Eyes, glowing in the dark, watching me from the shadows. Dozens of them, hundreds. Pale, litless eyes, staring out from the trees, unblinking, unrelenting. Paralyzed with fear, I could barely breathe as they closed in. The whispering returning, louder than ever, surrounding me. The words were clear now, chilling. In their clarity. You should have come, have come. I turned and ran for my life. My legs burned, lungs screaming for air. But I didn't stop. The eyes followed. The whisper is chasing me, growing, until I burst out of the woods, collapsing onto cold grass. The whispers cut off abruptly. The eyes gone. My friends were there, laughing, oblivious to everything that happened. They teased me for looking scared, but I didn't care. I made it out. But now, sometimes, I hear it again, soft at first, just beyond my window, whispering. I hear it again, the same words, repeating over and over, and I know deep down that one day I'll have to go back. The woods aren't done with me yet. <laughs>